he is still to come in the 100s for the under 20 boys. And Javorn Donkley of Jamaica at 10.23 didn't look bad in the first semi-final either. We're in for quite a treat, I think, in the under 20 boys, 100 meters. And after 10.29 in a minus 1.0, I have to remind you that the championship record is 10.11. Johan Blake. There's the lineup for the third semi-final. Jamar Saunders of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Dejon Francis of Bonier. Carlos Brown, the reigning silver medalist from the Bahamas. Dylan Woodruff of Trinidad and Tobago. Dan Bezacine of Guadeloupe. Mehdi Jean Lee of Martinique. And Jaden Jackson of the British Virgin Islands. For semi-finals, the winner of each heat will advance along with the next four best times. Carlos Brown, the Bohemian, lane number four, came to Kingston in 2022 with high hopes as a 16-year-old. Did not make it to the final. It was a massive disappointment. He said he worked for an entire year and last year picked up the silver medal. As we go from the inside, there is Brown. 10.40, his best time. He's gone 10.37, that was last season. But based on what we've seen already in qualifying, may have to be in personal best form to have a shot at a medal. And there is a lot of quality coming up in the and fourth we, and, and final semi-final. Yes, yeah. more to come. On your marks. I fully expect three to qualify from the fourth and final semi-final. So that should give you an idea of the quality that's coming up. I really do believe you have to win this semi-final. Woodruff of Trinidad and Tobago has gone 10.49, but that was wind assisted. Brown is the favorite in four. Right now, the bubble time 10.60, but Set. I think that that will change after this heat. Away they go. Good start for Francis up on air. Carlos Brown getting into his running now. Brown inches ahead, tight behind him. That was pretty close at the line, I think, as Jean Lee of Martinique, or was it Bizacine? It was Bizacine of Guadeloupe who came charging at the finish, but I think. Carlos Brown just held on to get the win and advance automatically to the final. 10.90. Not very fast at all, but as I said, I thought you had to win the semi-final because I didn't think that any non-automatic qualifiers would come from it. And at 10.90 for the winning time, no non-automatic qualifiers will come from this third and penultimate semi-final race. Yeah, d d competitive, yes, but uh, not a, a lot of quality in this particular heat. Not uh, the fastest of heats. And I think, uh, as you say, heat four, um, we should see some real battling going on. Um, we should see some strong running 10.90 for Brown, Ilan Bizasen of uh, Guadeloupe, 10.92, and Woodruff, 10.99 of Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, they will have completed their participation in this portion of uh, the Carifta Games at this time. Yeah, tough for the athletes in this semi final, by the way, to be fair to them because it was minus 3.6. So they 